Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them online a comment and I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and you already know, you should be a witness to over 100 videos I made so far on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers. And some people not even subscribers but I'm fine with that, I still do make the video for them. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Well actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, and you want to be an expert, you want to learn how to do anything yourself, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell, I don't sell any courses, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. Everything I do create, the codes and the videos, I do provide them completely free on the channel. You just have to skip around some advertisements. That's the case for most of the videos on YouTube now, right? But I'll let you choose, and I respect your decision. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. If this video helped you out, and if it didn't, just drop me a comment, as I said. I will be happy to provide the accurate information so you can fix or do the thing you're trying to do. And here I am again, back again with another requested video, which is how to resize the sale badge on the product page on your Shopify store and for both actually the desktop on the mobile and you can pick which one you want to do it. So if you want to resize the sale badge on the product page only for the mobile, this video will help you out. And if you want to do that only for the desktop, this video will help you out as well. And if you want to do that on both of them, this video will help you out as well. So I got you on every field, no worries. We will do that again by using a custom code that will do the trick for us. And I will show you how to customize that code. It's really easy. It will only change like one word. <laughs> so you can uh, customize it or make the changes only on the mobile or only on the desktop or both of them as I said. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard. And I have here down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So every like uh, video or trick or code I do share, I do demonstration on down team because it's the most used one and also is the most requested one. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free Shopify teams, I mean the most used ones again, which is Refresh, Spotlight, Taste, Sense, and Trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try each of my codes on all of these teams behind the scenes. I do that behind the scenes so I don't bore people because it's like seven teams. That would be a pretty long video. So I do try the codes behind the scenes on all of these so I'd make sure that it works for them as well. So even if you're not using down team, you're using one of these, it will work for you just fine. And even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I would be happy to help you out. And I have to say this in the beginning, so I give you a peace of mind because you're gonna see me doing it on down team. You might be thinking, ah, uh, maybe it's not working for the others. No, it is, so no worries, I got you. And with that out of the way, let's just get to it and show you how to resize the sale badge on the product page on your Shopify store. And this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks. So every trick or every code I do share with my channel, I do demonstrations on the Shopify uh, uh, store, sorry, and I do keep the changes. So everything you see in the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials. The shine effect on the buttons, uh, search bar, announcement bar, moving text with link on it, you can click on it and shadow effect, rounded corners, centered titles, literally everything. So if you saw anything here that you liked and you want to implement it, then it's already done and the code is already available for it. You just have to check out the channel or maybe subscribe <laughs> because once you see it on the Shopify store, that means it's already done and it's already posted. But what I'm talking about in this video is this little guy right here, but not here, actually on the product page later in, in my next video or like the third or the fourth video after this video, I will show you how to resize it here on the product card as well. But for this video, as I said, I will show you how to do that for the product page, which is this one. So we'll keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. We will get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are already in Shopify dashboard, click on the three dots or left of customize, then click on edit code. It will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, we need to find the specific file. Instead of looking at the folders, use the search bar at the top left corner. Then again, I have to mention this on each one of my videos. So it's gonna be either base.css or team.css or style.css and some rare custom made teams is gonna be custom.css. But mostly now they use base.css. So base or team or style. Uh, in my case, I know it's base. I'm gonna type in base. Here it is, base.css. 
And after that, scroll all the way down. Let me scroll all the way down because it's a huge file. Here we go. We are at the bottom of the file and here we need to create some space because we need to paste in some code. And there is no space. To create that space, click from the front of the last thing on the line and hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go. We have a completely new line because as I said, we need to paste in some code. And to get that code, you already know. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code. Simply click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page right here with this beautiful code that will do the trick. So as you know, the sale badge is not just a badge, it's a badge and as well it has text on it. So it's not suitable to only resize the text, we need to resize the whole thing. This code right here will do that for us. So this one is font size, we already know what font size is the text on the badge if you want to resize it more. and in here is the line height like you already know what line height is <laughs> i don't need to translate that and padding so make sure to play around with the numbers to get the exact size you want in my case i'm going to keep it as this and you will see the changes and later i will show you how to do this for the mobile because this is will do the trick only for the desktop so let's just get back to the file base.css then paste it at the bottom of the file and after that click on the save button we will wait for a couple of seconds. Okay, save it, get back in here, and let's just reload the page. Here we go. It's much bigger now, as you can see. It got much bigger, and the text got bigger as well, and the badge got bigger as well. So, as I said, this is only for the desktop, because as I switch to the mobile, let me switch to the mobile. Let me pick here uh, iPhone 14 Pro Max, and check it out. It's normal size. It's not it's not as big as the, on the desktop as you can see so if we want to do this only on the mobile but not on the desktop that's really easy you see here it says uh, media screen and in here it says men which says for min minimum minimum sorry and simply change this and type in max which stands for maximum and keep the number 760 and just change this to max after that click on the save and after it save it, we'll get back in here, reload the page, and check it out. It got bigger now on the mobile. But if I close again this and get back to the desktop, get back to the normal size as you can see. But as I said, I will show you how to do that for both again. If you want to do this for both, that's easier than the, <laughs> than the first one. Simply remove these. Remove the first line. Let me zoom in on so I can sh show you. Simply remove uh, the first line in here and make sure to remove this open bracket as well as the closing bracket the last one the last closing bracket make sure to remove it as well now if we click on the save button it's save it we will get back in here reload the page check it out it's much bigger now on the desktop and if i switch to the mobile it's much bigger as well on the mobile so this will do the change for both of them and that's how you resize the sale badge on the desktop or on the mobile or on both of them by using the same code. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.